Hi. Today I will be explaining two sublevels of the famous level six inside the back rooms. These sublevels are new expanses that make an already bad level somehow even worse and more depressing and isolating. If that sounds interesting to you, thanks for clicking on the video. And let's get into it, shall we? Also, I will not be going over the snack rooms, even though it's a sub-level, level six. I've already gone over it two times. We already know it's amazing. It's safe. It's perfect. But for this specific video, I want to focus on two more obscure sub-levels of level six. So first up is level 6.2, or amaxophobia. So if you don't know what amaxophobia means, it's pretty much the fear of being inside a vehicle, either as a passenger or a driver. And this level has been classified as a class TAU difficulty, or TAU, due to its phobic hazards, bad construction, and honestly, its overall environmental dangers that you might face. The level, however, is devoid of entities, which is a cool thing, I guess. Level 6.2 is an extremely anomalous space inside of the back rooms. It's located somewhere between the darkness of level 6 and the oceanic depths of level 7, and it can be best deduced as follows. It takes the appearance of a large abandoned city that has a thick forest surrounding it and kind of growing into the city. Inside both of these places, there are tons and tons and tons of cars. Abandoned, rusting, and decaying along with other vehicles like trucks and semi-trucks and stuff. The city in the level resembles an apocalyptic setting, almost like there was a massive disaster that wiped out all the people and the city got taken over by grass and ferns and everything. There are so many abandoned vehicles that are stacked and placed here that it's been described as a flood of cars. It almost looks like a big wave of them. Now, the size of this level cannot be attained fully due to how little the level's been explored and cataloged. Not many people have been here. But that being said, you can actually visit and explore this level completely and 100% fully if you wanted to because the environment is linear. There's none of that non-Euclidean geometry stuff that you might find in other levels. The issue comes when you want to try to walk down the paths and streets. You can't because there are literally millions and millions of cars stacked up really tall in your way. And that might be the only obstacle that covers a path that you want to walk through. Now the temperature inside this city is actually on the lower side and it stays just over 50 degrees Fahrenheit, or 12 Celsius, for a daytime high. And it drops to a cold negative temperature in the nighttime. Speaking of nighttime, the level is actually on a 30 hour night cycle, which is just like hours from real life, except this is six hours longer. While exploring the wastes of this abandoned, overgrown, car filled city, you'll have to scavenge through old stores and shops for water and snacks and food and anything like that because there is no natural supply of anything here. It's as if every single natural spring or food store or whatever has been destroyed. In fact, there's no backrooms related or themed food or water here at all inside of this level. There's no almond water, there's no royal rations, there's no cashew water, there's nothing. Instead, there are real life versions inside of the level, which is pretty neat, I would say. It might give you the illusion that you are in real life, but trust me, you're not. Now you might be confused because at the beginning I said there are two parts to the level, the city and the forest, and I haven't really mentioned the forest yet, and that's because there's little information about it. It's so far outside of the city that it's almost like the outskirts of the level. But essentially, this area is a very dense wooded zone made up of many coniferous trees and pines and spruces. The terrain is very hilly and uneven, and you guessed it, there are abandoned cars here too. Even with heaps of abandoned cars and hills though, the forest is much easier to explore than the city since it's more open and less confined. And you will have to explore this forest because the exit to the sublevel lies within the trees here. But more on that in a second. The types of cars that are sprawled out in the city and in the forest are all ones from real life. They're all real brands, they're all recognizable, and they seem to be completely authentic. The make and the model of the cars can be anything from any time period as well. You could have a Corvette, you could have a Maserati, you could have a Toyota Corolla, a Ford Fiesta. There are literally all types of cars here. 
Some of them are more rusted and decayed than others. Some of them have fuel in them, some of them don't. It's just a big mystery overall of how these cars got here, why they're placed in the way that they are, how do they get so stacked up there? Tons of questions that I don't have answers to. There have been no entities documented in the city or the forest, which means it's just you alone walking around an empty overgrown city, but that's, that's fun, I guess. Anyways, to enter the level, you have to be on level six, and no clip through any surface for a small chance to get here. That's the only reason we put this level as a sub-level of six, even though it's so different. It seems to be between six and seven. That's all we know. To exit, you need to make your way out of the city. Even though it could be a hard walk, you gotta navigate through the cars and buildings, find the forest, go in it. Once you do, you'll find a randomly appearing door in an arbitrary location deep inside the woods. Once you do that, you can open it up, and you'll be sent on to another level. I really like this level. It's a classic Backrooms liminal one. There's abandonment. You're alone. It seems post-apocalyptic. There's no creatures. It's awesome. On to the next one, though. Level 6.3, or the Blackened Catwalk, is another sub-level of level 6 that I find pretty dang interesting. It might actually be the most depressing Backrooms level that I've ever gone over though, so if you're afraid of isolation or anything, you might want to not watch. It's been given a survival class difficulty of class Gamma for it being unsafe and not secure due to gravitational hazards and isolation, but more on both of those later. The overall appearance of the level is that of an outdoor pathway catwalk type area made out of majority metal that stretches out for as far as the eye can see. The environment that this catwalk is in is unknown because it's shrouded in complete darkness, and the only light here is those dimly lit street lights that you might walk past. The weather in this level is constantly dark and cool and rainy as well, which gives this soft drizzle at most times. Everything being pitch black and nothing being visible except this infinite path in front of you gives many wanderers feelings of loneliness and depression because it's just you stuck on this small pathway forever. Also, gravity on level 6.3 is about 33% of what Earth's is, which means that you could just jump around with no fall damage. But it also makes for some interesting dangers that you probably don't really think about. Apparently, low gravity can cause damage to the human vascular system, which could lead to circulatory issues down the road, especially after prolonged exposure of being stuck on this pathway. You know, our bodies are not built for less gravity than we have, so they kind of freak out physically if you get stuck here. Level 6.3 has no day or night cycle, but it seems to constantly be stuck in one specific time. Literally pitch darkness, giving it this eerie, out of reality feel. Now, since the level's always raining and there's less gravity here, level 6.3 is in a constant state of instability, and it looks like most people think it's going to collapse in on itself and crumble in the coming years. So if you want to visit it before it collapses and crumbles and is no longer a level itself, you're going to have to do it right now. There are no entities here, which is cool, just the dangers of the low gravity that might you know, make your cardiovascular health worse. But the real danger comes from the isolation and mental effects that it could give you. This is the same for many backrooms levels, but even more so for this one because it's so hard to escape and you just have to continue walking in a straight line. It's so monotonous and lonely and dark and there's no visual stimulus that you can see. It's just really lonely. You're in utter darkness forever with nothing but the sound of soft rain on your head. And because of this, you might actually experience hallucinations or something like that after being stuck here for so long. If you, for some reason, want to come here, you're going to have to be in level 6 and no clip through a cold part of the level. So if you feel like it cold, you can no clip through a wall there or something. To exit, you're going to have to do something pretty difficult. You're going to have to meditate into a no clip, which pretty much and allegedly means you have to clear your mind completely till you get the ability to no clip to a different level. This is extremely hard to do, especially since you're isolated and all you have are the thoughts in your head. You have to empty these thoughts completely in order to do this. But yeah, like I said, this is a very sad level. It's so isolated. It's just a catwalk through darkness for eternity. Now, if you don't like people, this is like heaven to you. But if you do, you're screwed. Anyways, those were two sub levels of level six. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what other sub levels I should cover, what other videos I should make, yada, yada, yada. Check the description for my links if you want more. Comment what other things I should do. I'm interested in seeing what you want. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace and love.